after I did the uh, bank model, which is modeled roughly on Office Dodd's project from a restaurant, uh, people had a bunch of questions about, well, isn't in some places, isn't it flat on the top? It may be, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, it looks like sometimes it slices and sometimes it goes all the way up to a sort of a flat surface. I'm not sure, but it's a pretty valid question one way or the other. So the basic idea for the next exercise is how to take something where you have slats that go along and follow one surface, but then make the top edge go up to some other datum. And in some ways it's even easier, or it's actually, it's much easier than doing this project that I did here. Uh, with this guy, it had a couple of sort of fancy tricks with some loaded families that do this. And if you go back and look at the other post, you can sort of see how that whole thing was put together. But instead, I want to show you a little bit about how to make something that has sort of uh, attachment to a bottom surface, but then also uses a top surface. So I'm just going to get rid of this guy so we can see what's going on with this other family. And I've hidden... I've hidden another divided surface up top. So I've got this one surface up here, which is going to be my upper datum. And, you know, it's on a level, so I can move it around and see it in different places. <coughs> but it's essentially just, you know, it's another divided surface up here. I'm just undoing back to the divided surface that I've got. Nothing particularly fancy in this one. It's just uh, divided by 5 by 20 grid. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same idea of one strip, but instead of just attaching it to the bottom, I'm also going to attach it to the top. So what I've got here is this family called Simple 12, and it's uh, a 12-point adaptive component family. I'm just going to place it down here for now, just so we can take a look at it. And it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, just to make a surface. And we can go and take a look at that guy just to sort of see that it's no great shakes. It's really just two strips of spline by points that are joined together to make a surface. Of course, you can make this more complicated as you want to make more complicated a component. But this is enough to just sort of illustrate the idea. So I've got this guy. I can peel it off from here. I've got my 12 points that I, that I need to pick. So setting yourself up to sort of see what's going on um, and I'm just going to do it actually you know you don't have to do it on the starting edge I'm going to do it over here where I'm going to go and let's see am I actually snapping to my points I always do this and let's see if I am placing one of these guys and I accidentally switch it so that I'm placing on work plane, you actually don't snap to points. So you need to make sure that you're on place on face. There we go. There. Now I've got my snaps. One, two, oops. It's a little bit tricky to sort of see what you're doing here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, keep it moving around. Uh, I've lost count now, but I think this should get us there. Let's see, did we hit all of our guys? It looks like we did. Yeah. So now we can just kind of inspect what we did. So I've placed one 12 point component with the top row of points on this top guy and the lower bottom points on this curvaceous guy, and so now I can repeat them, right? If I go, there's my repeat. Off it goes. It spreads along the whole surface, and it is bonded to both top and bottom. And, of course, I can move this guy down. Let's move it down to 160. Make it look a little bit more like a roof surface. Uh, it's smaller. 150. Let's try that. This is, of course, a totally out of scale model. This is 150 feet tall. But you get the idea that it's a relatively simple component to make this guy. And with a 12 point component you can now go in and you can make this fancy and thick and do whatever you want with it. 
and you should be able to get your two datums represented with this repeat. Hope that works out for you. Thanks for watching.